Happy, happy New, New Year. Year. We hope everyone has a great and happy and blessed New Year <laughs> in 2018. Yes. Um, so what we kind of did here was compile like a lot of the photos that took place in 2017 to give you kind of like a recap of our year. Um, which involved getting married mm -hmm. and our honeymoon. Mm -hmm. um, so anyways, uh, we hope you enjoy it and we just wanted to like give you guys a thank you. Um, yeah. Like a big thank you for being so supportive and loving and um, just being a constant support system for us. Um, yeah, we, we just love you guys it. a we lot. Love you guys. And we hope you enjoy the video. And uh, yeah, we look forward to 2018. We'll see what it brings. Alrighty. Were you going to kiss me? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was going in for the kiss. <laughs> oh, you want to say bye real quick? Bye. bye. Today is a celebration. We are here to celebrate love, commitment, friendship, family, and two people who are in it forever. I've known Brittany since we were in eighth grade. Good times. <laughs> and by, by the time we graduated high school, we were close friends. And I've known Katie my entire life. <laughs> I've watched them as individuals and I've seen them together. They thrive in both aspects. When they asked me to marry them today, I knew the task was no small feat, and then I had to get it just right. You fell in love by chance, but you're here today because you're making a choice. You are both choosing each other. You've chosen to be with someone who enhances you, who makes you think, makes you smile, and makes every day brighter. And in just a moment, you will make promises to each other that you intend to keep. There's a simple premise to each of these promises. You are vowing to be there. You are teaming up and saying to the other, every experience I'm going to have, I want you to be a part of. Brittany, will you begin? It's on the back of my checklist. <laughs> That's what happened. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Katie. Oh, how I adore you. You are the most selfless and kindest person I know. Mixed with silliness and sarcasm, you are the perfect match to my puzzle piece. <laughs> Uh, you said this a good amount of years ago, and, and I quote, it's like every time I get a text, I smile. Every time I'm calling you, the anticipation of hearing um, your voice just swims around inside me. Every time you call me, I can't answer fast enough. I'm so excited. Every time I'm about to see you, I have to settle myself for a second. And I swear it's like seeing you for the first time. You sent me that three years ago, and to this day, I feel that exact same way about you. I constantly fall more in love with you every day than I ever knew possible. I promise to love you when life seems easy and when it seems hard. When our love is simple and when it is an effort. 
I promise to uphold the individuality and equality of our spirits. I promise to always continue to be your number one fan and support your dreams now and as they may come. When sad, you have a permanent shoulder to cry on, arms that will comfort you and never let you go, and a heart that beats to love you always. I promise that my hands are the hands that even when wrinkled and aged will still be reaching for yours, still giving you the same unspoken tenderness with just a touch. You're the best thing that's ever been mine, and I promise to love you forever and always. (laughs) Thank you. (laughs) Whenever you're ready. I vow to embrace you, to defend you, and to protect you. I vow to embrace your individuality, to defend the soul which your spirit lies, and to protect it from any outsiders trying to change it. There are so many words I could say, but I think sometimes words just aren't enough. Which is odd coming from me, don't get me wrong, words are important, and they are absolutely necessary. But I have yet to find the perfect string of words to describe to you the fierce palpitation in my heart when I'm with you. I feel like I could write for days and never really grasp what I actually mean to say. And so, I have to remember, words aren't the only aspect involved when telling a story. It's the emotion, the passion, the undeniable ecstasy portrayed while speaking the words that give them significance. When I say loyalty, I hope you know, I don't mean sometimes, I mean always. When I say happiness, I don't mean fairy tale. I mean your hair clogging the shower drain and my ability to misplace things at least twice a day. When I say patience, I don't mean easy, I mean willing. I mean I'd prefer to drive and you'd prefer I dial down my unpredictable sarcasm. (laughs) But we're willing to endure anyways. When I say communication, I don't mean perfect, I mean honest. And when I say love, I don't mean today, I mean forever. Words need context, they need substance. So here I am, standing before you with everything I have and everything I am. I'm promising to revere you as an individual, a partner, and an equal. Look around these trees, these people, this moment. It's more than the words I chose to speak. We'll remember this as the greatest chapter of our lives until the next. You, my dear, are my endless muse. I love you, I love you, I love you. Before the ceremony started, we asked everybody present today to each take a turn holding the rings for a moment, warming them with your love, and making a silent wish for this couple and their future together. These rings now contain a massive amount of strength and wisdom, as well as love and support. Will you, Brittany, keep Katie as your person, to laugh with her, support her, be proud of her, grow old with her, and find new reasons to love her every day? Yes, I will. (laughs) Will you, Catherine, keep Brittany as your person, to laugh with her, support her, be proud of her, grow old with her, and find new reasons to love her every day? I will. Will you, Brittany and Catherine, be each other's partners from this day forward? Will you bring out the best in one another, share your happiest moments together, and love each other absolutely for the rest of this lifetime and for whatever may come next? We We will. Brittany and Catherine have just sealed their relationship with the giving and receiving of rings. Today marks their relationship and further symbolized by the tying of a fisherman's knot, a true lover's knot, for it is the strongest there is. Its bond will not break, becoming ever stronger under pressure. <laughs> Let this knot indicate the strength of your love and be a symbol of your unity from this day forward. And now, <laughs> by the powers vested in me, by the state of California. I now pronounce you married. You may kiss your bride.